Oh yeah, it's that time again. Today's Monday. <laughs> Money Carlo Trump talk. Very special day. Not just any day. Cause we're gonna talk about a legend, a legend that just previously passed. I'm not gonna give everything away yet, but just know today is about a man that sometimes they call metal fingers. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws. And this is about Special Herbs, Volume 2. Just so, if you don't understand what I just said. Artist name, Metal Fingers. Album name, Special Herbs, Volume 2. In case you don't know who Metal Fingers is, that's what MF Doom called himself when he was making beats, or at least on his beat tapes. He was Metal Fingers. MF Doom was all about like, he had this whole like mysterious, you know, guys. You know, far left field, but influenced so many of your favorite rappers, you have no clue. A lot of people didn't know who he was until just now because, you know, the reports of him just dying um, on New Year's just came out and everybody's talking about MF Doom right now. Everybody's a fan right now, which is a good thing, you know. I'm not gonna knock anybody who just became a fan or who's been a fan for the you know past 15, 20 years. Either way, it's good that you're a fan. But this B tape is actually a mix of I guess volume one of special herbs. Like he named it volume two, but it was really like volume one and volume two. It's got some stuff from the first special herbs. Um, how it happened with all of his beat tapes like three and four are like kind of mixed together um, and like I said keep going on that um, this one is very important though because a lot of his beats were like the experimental um, kind of left field uh, it was true to who he was it was the instrumentals to a lot of stuff that he ended up rapping on I know a few people that you know, have a similar style to him, especially if you are a producer from from New York or, you know, from anywhere in that area. It's, you got to like a similar style to that, like Quasimodo. Um, there are, is some influence, you know, from some, a producer that's more current. And, you know, one of my influences, I make mad beats. Um, he has a lot of influences there. Um, you know, it's not, his style wasn't just like sampling a beat and rapping over it. It was experimenting with that sample, making it sound as weird as possible, not trying to like skew it too much, but, or sometimes, you know, just taking something completely recognizable and looping it and, you know, putting a dope beat over it. Either way, it came out dope. It was, it was flames in the pot, you know what I'm saying? I would greatly urge you to check that out like check out those first check out special herbs volume one and two first if you haven't listened to mf doom yet and then check out his albums that way it's not like you can get kind of thrown by the stuff he says i ain't gonna lie to you but the beats are are equally just as wild but you know they're digestible i'll put it like that um, y'all take a listen to it I'm gonna of course link it down in the comments below let me know what y'all think of it holla